So I see you're rocking stock wheels, therefore telling me you broke. <laughs> From afar, I thought the fucking car was a Forte. Like, dude. All right, fam. So I owe you guys an apology. I've been off of YouTube since the new year, and I told myself I was this year gonna film, um, you know, a lot of content for you guys. But I got sidetracked with work and catching up with orders and uh, different business ventures. So now I'm back. Like I said, I apologize. I'm here. I'm gonna try to make more content for you guys, but I just need your guys' help to stay motivated and disciplined. Brother, this guy The one thing while I've been gone that I wanted to look at is like statistics. And I noticed that you guys have an average view duration of three minutes and 12 seconds dude that is low i make like 15 minute videos so in order to help in today's video with your guys's adhd since you guys can't stay focused and you guys dip to another video unless i'm just boring but i'm gonna have like what you guys see on tiktok when you have me talking and then at the bottom you're gonna have a little video game set up please watch to the end i'm gonna roast all your guys's cards that you guys submitted and i hope none of you guys get offended I don't want any of you guys to be like, oh, fuck this dude. This is all jokes. There's no way out of this. If you guys want to roast my cars, feel free to do so. Drop it in the comments, roast the stinger, the hell, find bro? something on the Optima. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of stuff you guys could roast on mine. I'm not going to get offended. You won't get blocked. And if you guys do enjoy today's video, please let me know in the comments. That way I know to make more videos like this, more engaging stuff where I not only just do stuff on the car, but I also get you guys involved. Yes. I'm going to go with the newest submission first. And that's going to be from Gady submitted his Kia Optima. I'm not sure what year it is, but it looks like a 2014 to 15 model. You're broke because you're still rocking stock wheels and then you're rocking that Amazon front lip that is not for the car because the canard on the side doesn't reach all the way to the back of the front bumper it literally cuts off but the side skirt pretty clean i know that's an amazon one too you hit any type of speed bump or God any damn. pothole you're gonna crack the shit out of that plastic i'll tell you that one thing i regret is buying cheap parts like plastic shit they crack and then you're just gonna buy another one and another one all right there's a lot of cars so I'm actually gonna go crazy because I need some uh I'm all out of some uh reactions. So up next is gonna be Chris.gt2. I'll be honest with you, Chris. Even though we have the same setup like identical from afar, I thought the fucking car was a forte. Like, dude. <laughs> I don't know why. Like the picture you sent looks like a Forte. The angle, I don't know, the headlights, something about it just made it look like a Forte GT. See, you're rocking some wannabe TE37s. I ain't gonna cap, those wheels were actually the ones I was gonna get. But luckily I got some four star wheels, which aren't reps, so I'm happy with that. I'll tell you this, those reps, they don't really look like TE37s. I think those are Autohan ones, they're clean. Obviously in the car community, you wear reps, you're trash probably almost way about the same to somebody who doesn't know about cars like you're picking up a girl she's just gonna think those wheels are clean other than that i like the kia stinger simple look looks clean you got the old school claw setup you're rocking a quiet license plate when you should actually be rocking a get stung plate cover that you could find at kdm built dot company dot site remember represent your guys's culture don't rep any other trash not disrespecting, but you gotta rep your culture, fam. Car's clean, I like it. Looks like my car when I really started modding it. T1, Stinga, roast my car. Rocking stock wheels, therefore telling me you broke. Oh. Or you're saving up. Get your money, I'm not your funny. You got the money, but you're not really invested in the car. Telling by that uh, spoiler you got, honestly, not bad i like the spoiler that was a wicker bill setup that i was gonna go with what are you bro are you a, are you in between like a charger with those little banana front skirts because i see a little bit of red or yellow on the bottom of your oem lip looks like you just bought it off the lot and they have a little cover like the way the chargers come out off the lot and challengers what i like about your car is the fact that your front grill the trim is blacked out 
I'm jealous. I want to black out my trim so bad. If I didn't really invest in my car the way you have it, night dot forte. This one, I'll be honest, is a little tough, bro. But one thing I noticed, which I freaking hate, dude, like those wheels, I know they're BMWs, but like, bro, your car is not a BMW. What's crazy is the fact that they, I don't know if they're reps or something, but they fit your car. Although, and then those little red accents, not a fan of, you gotta black that out. Those headlights are fire, dude. I've never, I've, I've never seen a Forte with those type of headlights. I don't know if they're custom, but that shit is clean, dude. Honestly, sick Forte setup. Up next is Naz Bev I Bin. Just by that username, bro. I gotta roast you, bro. Feel free to roast, can't wait to hear these. It's time. Those headlights, bro, making it look like a little Sleepy Joe. Huh? And I see you got the heavy hitters banner up in the top. You're not even the fuck. My brother, you gotta sell it. You need to buy yourself a newer version. It's still clean. It sounds good. <laughs> Can't toss shit on the fact that you have a V8. I like the wicker bill setup. Makes it look a little more modernized. And uh, the wheel setup too is very clean. Like I said, you just need to upgrade. Talon Sen zinger but my boys got a forte stock as hell stock wheel stock everything honestly i don't know what you're expecting i thought you're gonna send me some modded car but this thing is stock as hell my boy yeah that's it jack hagger djr he roasted me and i'll be honest when i saw this <laughs> that shit that shit made me laugh he said glad you're back bro and he's like all i gotta say and he just submitted a picture of some plasti dip <laughs> i'm i'm assuming he's an old subscriber too and he knows the fact that i would plasti dip fucking everything i plasti dip my wheels at one point on the old car and honestly it's still there it hasn't been chipping off or peeling or anything time to roast your k5 my boy who first thing i wanted to see if it's an sx or ex and luckily for you you got an sx you're a smart you're a smart guy see you got stock wheels bro sorry but you're broke but how the fuck you know this i see that amazon lip same thing as the older k5 the front grill i don't know if you're missing the trim or something but oh if the 2013s and 12s come with the missing piece right there that's just how it is headlights Dude, you gotta do what I did. You gotta put those headlights, the little hexagon ones. If you missed that video, go check it out. Makes a huge difference, dude. He submitted a little audio. That was pretty fire. You guys tell me below, is that not fire? I love the way the K5 sounds. It sounds so good with that little blow off valve too. So that is a plus right there. I would do the Cybun hood since they don't make my hood no more. Uh, otherwise, the color, good. It's very unique. It's like that dragon red. I forgot what it's called, but it looks clean. Schmizzy. Full sand, bro. Full sand. All right. I'll be honest, bro. I don't know what the fuck that is. Like, is that, I don't know if that's the lawn like it's very hard to tell bro is it a velocitor like dude i'm still tripping i don't know if it's the velocitor or the elantra you submitted one picture i wish you sent the rear of it that way i know what it was but that's got to be the roast and i see you got that little goofy heartbreaker shit on the freaking handle oh! yeah that, that's gotta go my boy the average girl gets scooped up by you or an average guy, I don't know if you're a boy or girl, but if the dude or girl pulls up and they're just an average person not into the car community and see that shit, they're gonna be like, what is that tacky ass stuff? There go another player to, you gotta keep Otherwise, it's clean, you have it stock. Anthony Sesser. Car number one and car number two you could roast. All right, let's go with the Datsun. I think that's a call the 280Z. I'll be honest, this dude's making it tough. I'm sure I'm gonna get flamed for what I'm about to roast. Those wheels, my boy, they look like they're supposed to be on like an Al Camino. Or a... <laughs> Whoa. 
what would look fire on it was be some TE37. I love the color, very unique. Now let's go to your Stinger. I'm assuming those are the stock OEM wheels. They look like the Scorpion wheels. The little gap right there in the end and that sunken in, uh, it's not for me. You gotta have that flush fitment. Some people like it tugged, but that's just, you need a spacer or something. I love that you took that little Kia badge off the front grille. No, no holes for the license plate up front, lucky you. You got a good lip, I'll tell you that too. Side skirt, I don't know, it's looking like that little Amazon $60 side skirt, but clean. I love the setup. I'm jealous that you have a front bumper with no holes up in the front. NL lowered Kia, you making it easy over here. So you got a wide body kit. I don't know if you're waiting on wheels or you think that's a fire fitment, but my boy, you need some fucking spacers like immediately. You need to buy some two inch spacers, maybe three in the rear, cause those look like just how you had it stocked before and you just threw over fenders on and never put, you know, some spacers or wheels that fit. Otherwise, if you were to get some spacers, it'll look cleaner or you just get some wheels that have the proper offset. It gives me some Panda vibes. Stevo.k5, here's your roast, my boy. You got no spoiler. That's a fat flame that's pretty fire. It's hard to tell if you have an EX or an SX. You should have left the badge. Fitment, fire. Otherwise, clean, just overall clean. Gabby dot, not Gabby. Just rebuilt it yesterday after a bad crash. Let's see if you can pull a roast with this pick. So from what you sent, you have a Sybin carbon hood. Good, you know? What I do is match, paint match. Trust me, you're gonna want to do that because you're gonna hate your hood when it starts fading and turning yellow. And it just looks better and cleaner when you have like a paint matched hood. That fitment in the front, yo, that fitment in the front, bro. I know for a fact you're hitting everything. When you when you bottom out, that shit is chipping the shit out of your fender. But otherwise, clean, simple setup. I like that you have that little white interior. I like that white on white, clean. <coughs> Fuck. O'Neal Jenkins. I'll be honest, dude. It's gonna be hard to flame you because you're rocking KDM built merch. You got the license plate, you got the decal. It's looking clean up in the rear. Let's see. All right, I already found, I already found the negative, dude. Those wheels, you got to sell them, bro. Honestly, dude, what those wheel setups look like. Every time I pull up to a car wash and I see a dude in his Camry with some 20 inch wheels, that have horrible ass fitment with a huge fender to wheel gap. So those wheels have got to go. You gotta get some real JDM wheels. You know for a fact you got those shits on offer up, my boy. But otherwise, dude, black on that gray color. Wait a minute, yo, that diffuser's actually fire. Shadow Stinga. All you sent was your interior, dude. And it's stock. Like, what the fuck? fuck. Kale B. Gonzalez. You brought your stock Stinger to a car meet with your hood open to show that the only stuff you have modified is your air intakes, I'm assuming. Grill looks like it's about to fly off. You did a good job getting the GT2. Just simple, mint. Carter underscore macho 27. You got a stock looking K5 from the outside the only thing you did to it is wheels coilovers i don't think if you were to get coilovers you would drop it a little bit more you need to fix that front grill because that's just chipping you did submit a video of you on the dyno Otherwise, you chose the right set of wheels. It looks good. The fitment on the, as in like offset, it looks good. I would just fix, I would just lower it, lower it just a little bit. Just a tad bit. Just another Kia. Roast away. Oh, say less. My boy, white wheels. Are you in your 30s or 40s already? That's what I'm taking it as. Trust me, dude, your setup is clean already. You just need to buy a real lip. I'll tell you that. That's it. Cause I don't think that one's a real lip. That's why you're using those rods to hold it in place when you're going 10 over the speed limit. Cause you know that plastic shit gonna fly the fuck off. But who the fuck am I to say? Cause I had that same setup on the Optima, dude. And I remember a dude on the highway, people told me that that front lip was like just shaking everywhere, dude. I'm jealous you have the, you have the snorkels up front and their LEDs. I have the basic, I think I just bought some basic red ones. Cause I was gonna modify them and shit. I didn't buy the LED ones. I'm painting black. Mint, mint, clean. Kia, you asked for it, bro. Me and you go way back, and I hope our friendship doesn't break because of this roast, bro. But I'm gonna tell you, dude, you got a cream. What do you mean by that? 
You gotta chrome delete the shit, dude. You gotta chrome delete the fuck out of that front grill. Number two, those Amazon custom headlights, bro, got to go. You gotta do what I did. They look tacky. I don't know, that's why I didn't buy them. Although that's like, I think your only option to do. The OEM XXL headlights just look way better. These Amazon ones just look too tacky. Otherwise, you got the best fucking fitment on all the K5s, I'll tell you that, bro. When do you ever see a K5 in that color? Never. One fat dot Kia. Here you go. I'm about to flame the fuck out of you, bro. I could find so much shit to flame on you, dude. You're screwed, bro. All right. Ah, got it. Take that fucking decal off the door, bro. Otherwise, that's a fucking clean ass stinger, dude. Wide body, those keen wheels, they're just perfect fitment. I'm not a fan of tuck, but just looks pretty sick. Uh, you know, when you're bottomed out like that, you dropped a lot of money onto your Kia Stinger, bro. I'll tell you that for sure. I guess that's my roast, dude. Uh, honestly, your car's clean, bro. And I really want to see this thing in person. I want to have him side by side just so I can look at my Stinger and just be like, bro, my shit trash. Roast mine in the vid. Evan, you're the homie. You know where I live. If I flame you and you get mad, please don't come to my door. Eat my ass, bro. <laughs> bro, you got a 2.0. You should have just not spent the money on those parts and bought in you know the 3.3 otherwise bro you have the cleanest fucking 2.0 out on the platform bro i know you're kicking the air right now dude but it's true dude you should have just sold it before you modified or sell it like take off all of what you have that you could transfer onto one of the 3.3s like the suspension and wheels and shit you know i love your car <laughs> Like, you just have it clean, bro. Clean ass setup. Rocking the KDM license plate frame. Jeez. Last one from Deadpool underscore Genesis. I'll be honest with you, before I read your uh, your username, I got Deadpool vibes from your car. Right away, I was like, this dude's based off of Deadpool. Like, before I even noticed the username. I hate red wheels, bro. Like, I fucking hate them. Like, you should just stuck with black wheels. And then, you know, keep that livery that you got going on. But your gaps on your fenders, dude, you gotta fix that. It looks like you're rocking stock fitment on some over fenders. You gotta fix that shit for sure. Otherwise, dude... Your front lip, hex, hex comb carbon. Oh fuck, dude, that's clean, dude. I know that shit was a hefty price for that. And then you got the hex comb lower grill too. Shit, dude. You see, if I were to get a uh, two uh, Genesis coupe, what well, I think it's called a BK2, right? The the one this guy has. This setup is what I would do, except for like delivery and colors. The setup I would do as it in like a drift build, right? Like exterior wise, this would be my drift build setup. Those exact fenders, just better fitment and whatever he else mods he put on. That's exactly what I would do to my BK2. Clean BK2, bro. I like it. Good choice on the wing as well, dude. I like it. It almost matches the height of the uh, top of your um, roof. So clean BK2 wheels i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope i didn't lose some subscribers or lost some friends i know for a fact some of you guys may have got booty tickled hey you submitted your car you knew that it was a roast don't blame me if i made uh, your girlfriend laugh my bad pimp that's just what happened when you a motherfucking real ass boss real motherfucking player g i'll see you guys in the next video if you guys enjoyed remember please drop a comment down below so i can continue to make videos for you guys it helps motivate me and stay, you know, consistent. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.